Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your elevation on Google Maps. So if you're going up super high in a mountain and you want to know if you need oxygen or if you get altitude sickness, whatever it might be. If you're in the ocean, you probably don't need this because you're like elevation zero at the ocean. Um, but I'm going to show you on desktop how to do it on an Android phone. On Google Maps, we'll show you some alternatives on Android and on an iPhone on how to find your elevation. Um, but first we're going to stop over on Google Maps on desktop. So you go to maps.google.com. Let's say you want to go to Mount Everest, that's your destination. So you type in Mount Everest and then you're going to click on the layers button in the bottom here. It says layers and you want to make sure you click on terrain. So click on terrain in there and then make sure that this toggle is on that says view topography and elevation. So these little lines on here, you'll see they have the elevation written there. This one says 7,800 meters right there. So this says 80, it's hard to read, 8,200 meters up, up near the top of Mount Everest. It's a, a fine gray font on kind of like a gray background. And as you zoom in, you can still see those a little bit better. And when you get to a certain point, if you zoom too much, those layers will go away. You won't be able to see the number. As you can see, they've disappeared. Um, so as I zoom out a little, there you go. You can see it says 8,800 meters. So that's about how tall it is on Mount Everest. So pack some oxygen if you're going up there, wear some warm clothes, bring those ice picks, etc. Now on a phone, if you open up the Google Maps app, uh, you can also do this on the browser on your Android phone or iPhone, etc. Um, but you click on the Layers button, which is up here near the top right. It's got the two squares on top of each other. So click on Layers. Same thing, you're going to want to click on Terrain. So make sure you've got Terrain selected there. And this one's hard to read. It's got, see those little lines? Oh, and if you zoom in too much, they go away. Those little lines and the numbers. I'm getting older. So I'm going to have to use glasses, but you can see those little numbers on there. Those are the elevation. So since it's hard to see those little tiny numbers on your phone, um, so you can install a third party app. We recommend one called My Elevation. I'm just on the Google Play Store here looking at My Elevation. So you install this and then it'll show you your elevation of where you're actually at. And then you can type in different destinations and get your elevation right there. So I'm going to open this up, agree to the policy, etc. It says use metric or imperial. I guess I'll go for imperial in there and then use while I'm using the app. So it's waiting for my GPS to kick in. So make sure you've got your GPS turned on. So I'm in a highly elevated place right now. I'm at 4,788 feet. I'm in Utah in the United States. Um, but you can type in any destination you want here. And this is a free app, but you can see there's ads on it, which is fine, whatever. So I'm going to type in Mount Everest. Go. And then it's got a few options here. Base camp. There's, oh, let's, let's just see what the base camp elevation is. So if you type that in, it says elevation 16,900 and 37 feet. So that's really high. That's like almost four times as high as I am now in Utah. Wow, at 4,000 something. So, and it's got the temperature on there, cloudy, 35 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So pretty cool. This is an app we recommend for an Android phone, My Elevation. If you're on an iPhone, this is an iPhone 5S, which I can't believe still works. It actually does work, but you probably have a much newer one than that. There's a Compass app built in. So you go into your Compass app on an iPhone and it'll show your, your coordinates and your elevation right there within the app. So a few tools we recommend, Google Maps, desktop, Android phone, iPhone, you can use those. Um, the other alternatives we showed on Android and iPhone are useful too for understanding your elevation. Remember, bring oxygen if you're going super high. If you're going under the sea, like a negative elevation, bring a scuba tank. You know, common sense. You got to be able to breathe. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.